people who fled a burning apartment building are now trying to salvage anything that they can. It's a story we first brought you as breaking news on 2 News this morning. 2 News reporter Joe Hinkey spoke with some of those residents and has new information now from East Tulsa. Right now, officials with the Tulsa Fire Department telling me this fire remains under investigation as residents are returning to their apartments here, seeing what, if anything, they can possibly recover. Crews of the Tulsa Fire Department arrived shortly after 5.30 this morning. It took only 15 to 20 minutes to put the fire out, I'm told, and everyone living in the four apartments that burned was able to get out safe, complicating things as the fire broke out, freezing temperatures and a brutal wind, a combination that made conditions tough for firefighters and also those who escaped. only had this jacket out in the car, so obviously it was to give the jacket to the wife so that she can stay warm. and. Chris Wild there lives next to the apartment where the fire began. He says he and his wife will be staying with relatives for a while. Other families are telling me the Red Cross is making hotel arrangements for residents so they have a warm place to stay. And right now, Observation Point apartment staff is finding open apartments here for those families to eventually move into. And while they haven't confirmed the official cause of this fire, firefighters telling me they believe it started with a cigarette on one of the apartment's balconies, and then that eventually spread to the other three apartments. Reporting in East Tulsa, Joe Henke, 2 News, works for you. All right, Joe, thanks. Investigators are still trying to find out what sparked a massive grass fire near Inola. It was a tough battle for firefighters as they worked to protect several homes in the fire's path. This video from overnight, and take a look at that. Crews spent several hours trying to put out those flames. They did get it under control, and the good news is that no one was hurt.